What's up guys, this is Mr. Maesis and I am going to talk to you about the mean value theorem. So there's a lot of stuff on the screen. Uh, basically, here's the idea. The tangent slope, the slope of the tangent line at some place, some value of C between an interval, A and B, somewhere in between here, there's going to be a place where the slope of the tangent line is equal to the slope of the secant line, which is the line that goes through those two points at the end. Really not that bad. Let me show you an example where you would use it. So think about what we're doing. We're taking the slope of the tangent line, which is the derivative. So I'm going to go and take the derivative. By the way, let me change this to 3 minus 6x to the negative 1. So I'm going to take the derivative. That's going to give me 6x to the negative 2. 6 over x squared. And what I'm saying is that that derivative, that, that, that slope is going to be equal to the slope of the secant line, which is really the arc, the average rate of change, f of b minus f of a over b minus a. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're doing f of 6 minus f of 3 over 6 minus 3. See, I'm setting it equal because the mean value theorem says that uh, there's got to be some place here where that's equal. All right. So, um, you know, really technically it should look like uh, f prime of c, and this should be a c here. So in the next step, I'll show you if I put the, when I put the c in there. So I'm going to put 6 in my original function. So I'm going to 6 into here, and I'm going to get, um, looks like I'm going to get 3 minus 1, which is 2, minus 3 minus 2, which is 1, over 3, and it's going to give me 1 third. All right, so my slope, my slope of my secant line is one third. So I'm looking for a c such that f prime of c, which is six over c squared, is equal to a third. So I'm going to divide both sides by six, and I'm going to get c squared equals eighteen because I got you know flip it over and multiply, and I'm going to get c is equal to plus or minus root eighteen. Well, which one works? Well, which one of these, plus or minus, is in this interval? Just the plus. So, by the mean value theorem, C is equal to square root of 18. All right, that's it. Bam. That's all there is to it, guys. Take the derivative, set it equal to the slope of the secant line, solve for C. Boom. Done. Catch you later, guys. That's the mean value theorem.